Hello everybody, today we have another power supply to repair, the guy brought it to me, as always said it's not working, it's not the most expensive and not the best power supply, if we look at the cables, Not a big deal. It's a chief tech. Chief tech element series ELP seven hundred S. Well no, it's hasn't been opened, original seal, which is a good sign. So first of all, I'm gonna try it. Here I have the power cable. Let's let it unplugged. Turn my tester. I did it myself. Everyone can do it. Also, if he wants to, not difficult, absolutely, here I have standby voltage, 12 volts, 5 volts and 3 volts indicator. Here is the bulb, you should always try, you should always check something with precautions, because if you working with mains it is really dangerous. I'm working with isolating transformer so I'm kind of safe but this is an indicator as I already told. Okay so let's try to turn it on and uh, see what we're gonna get. Do we have a blink? And we do have so it means that we have a good fuse and also we have a standby voltage so it's a good sign maybe the power supply is working maybe it has bad caps or something like this now we should turn it I will direct the lights away from the camera and let's try and and I think the power supply is working so maybe it's not holding the load but it's working I can test it like this I wanna I'm gonna bypass the lamp with a simple wire like this now probably everything is going to be fine with this load let's see yes as I was expecting let's try this fabricated tester and see what we get and 5 volts is present, 12 volts it is, 3.3, .3. power good is slightly low, let's try one more time, and yeah it's kind of low, one more time, and 150 milliseconds. I don't remember the specification for the power good signal. I'm gonna check it out. Maybe it's starting too fast. I, I want to check it out because if you have a power good signal that is starting too fast, probably your motherboard would not accept this. 
there has to be some delay but I don't remember exactly what is the number of that delay so I'm gonna check it out and tell you that information okay I checked the specifications and requirements for power good signal and actually it is from 100 milliseconds to 500 milliseconds so we have here 150 so it is kind of good I just was mistakenly thought that maybe it's too low because usually it is something about 250 milliseconds right in the middle but this one is also okay so I don't know why the guy brought it to me I'm gonna turn it open see the caps usually caps are getting low and uh, they cannot sustain the load sometimes other problems can be seen anyway I'm, I should open it and see what's inside if I find something interesting I will show you as well maybe somebody would find it useful actually I found what was the problem with this power supply I didn't notice at first when we turned it on that the fan wasn't spinning and after diagnosing I checked everything everything was good so I didn't know what was the problem and just occasionally I checked the fan and I wasn't even able to spin it with my finger it was really stuck so I removed the sticker put some oil inside and now it's really working so this was the problem now when we turn on the power supply we see that the fan is spinning very nicely and silently so this one is fixed that was an easy one but I almost missed the point so this is it thanks for watching see you with another device